Stop me if you've heard this one already. You're swiping and finally matched with someone who's pretty cute. You read through their profile and you're pleasantly surprised at how many of your boxes they check. So you send that first message and get a response telling you how skilled they are in the bedroom or how happy they can make you. <sighs> Ever had this happen? There is a special flavor of narcissism called sexual narcissism, which can be the cause of some of these cringy situations. Sexual narcissism as defined by Medical News Today is when a person has an unrealistic view of their sexuality. Sexual narcissists can't be identified with the classic signs of narcissism, but it can be just as damaging to a relationship. So let's build up your arsenal and equip you with some signs of a sexual narcissist. One is not like the other. Okay, so this one is like an anti-sign. Not all narcissists are created equally. Just because the word narcissism appears, we can't assume sexual narcissists will have the same tells. According to a Medical News Today article, what to know about sexual narcissism, there are specific differences between someone diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder and sexual narcissism. On a scientific level, NPD is categorized as a cluster B personality disorder. This means someone with a cluster B personality might have trouble controlling their emotions and behavior. On the other hand, the article explains that sexual narcissism is not a personality disorder, nor is it a mental health condition. Yep, someone who is considered a sexual narcissist actually doesn't have a medical condition. That means they're simply selfish when it comes to their sexual needs with no ulterior explanation. This stands to say that you can't assume a sexual narcissist has NPD, nor can you assume someone with NPD is a sexual narcissist. The best in town, the most common and arguably easiest way to spot a sign of sexual narcissists comes right from the definition. As mentioned earlier, sexual narcissism is an unrealistic view of one's sexuality. Manetta from My Hero Academy comes to mind. Ali talks and thinks about his women, their bodies, and being intimate with them. Hearing that, you'd probably think he's a huge ladies man, but you'd be wrong. He actually gets rejected a lot due to his creepy and might I add, disrespectful approach. Sexual narcissism, IRL, is the same. It can either be believing you're way better in bed or in romantic situations than you are. Believing a large number of people like or love and or flirt with you or even being hyperfixated on sex or sexual sensations. The Medical News Today journal continues to explain that any sort of criticism of a sexual narcissist could be poorly received due to this false, grandiose view of themselves. This sign is exactly why getting a text saying how amazing your night will be or something along those lines could be a bad pickup attempt or it could be a sign of sexual narcissism. Have you ever gotten one of these texts or been on this type of date? Let us know in the comments. The sexual barterer. So there's a rumor going around the dating community that if you go out with someone, you owe them physical intimacy. You do not owe anyone anything sexually. Medical News Today breaks down some different behavior patterns that might be exhibited by a sexual narcissist, which include sexual entitlement, believing you can demand or are owed sexual acts, and sexual exploitation, manipulating or coercing someone into sexual acts. Time to get personal. One of our writers shared this personal story with us from her college days. She started talking with this guy, we'll call him Chad. Chad took her out to eat, bought her drinks, took her to hockey games, etc. They would even spend some nights in having a few drinks and watching movies, but there was never more than a hug or a short kiss. After a month or so of dates, Chad asked when they would finally do it. She was a bit confused and even apologized if she did or said something that implied she wanted that. He said no, but after a month of spending his time and money, he figured it was about time. With that, our writer put her drink down, told him he doesn't have to spend his time or money on her anymore and went home. Now, we don't diagnose people on this channel, but based on this story alone, Chad might've been a sexual narcissist. The overreaction. Depending on where you are in your relationship, your idea of sex might be different. If you and your partner just met, you might be in the bedroom for hours at a time, only breaking for water and snacks. If you're married or just have been together a long time, sex may be something on special occasions or something you rush when the kids leave the house. Whatever works for you and your partner to show each other physical love, we support it. Now, imagine your partner and you are lying in bed. They ask for some sexy time, but you're just exhausted. You politely tell them that you're tired, but maybe you can have some fun in the morning? How do they react? 
a light joke but accepting the boundary or do they get mad? Preston Nee has his master's in business administration and has held roles in multiple university faculties focusing within communications. In an article for Psychology Today, he explains that mocking, tantrums, personal attacks, guilt tripping, and even withholding love can all be signs of sexual narcissism. We just said it, but we'll say it again. Please know that you do not owe your partner or anyone anything sexually, and consent is always required. If you do not consent and are met with a negative response, this is not a healthy reaction. Please contact a mental health counselor to discuss this situation and what your next steps can look like. The dating world is downright scary sometimes, but finding a sexual partner who fits you can be an amazing feeling. As the saying goes, sometimes we might have to kiss a few toads, uh, sexual narcissists, before you get your prince or princess. We hope this video gave you an idea of what to look for, but there are so many more signs of sexual narcissism. Should we make a part two? If we can get this video to 13,000 likes, we'll do a part two. Don't forget to like and subscribe to see that part two, and we'll see you next time. The references used listed below.